Welcome to Object Class Explained. This episode was created in partnership with the SCP Declassified subreddit. For more declassifications, check out their link in the description below. Today, we're going to go over one of the most requested declassifications I've seen in a long time, SCP-343. Now, it isn't a very complex SCP, but it was requested, so we're going to go ahead and go over it regardless. So first off, what is SCP-343? Well, it's actually one of two things. It's either a very powerful reality bender, or it's God. And there's very little chance it's anything in between. Though it is important to note that in the SCP universe, there's really very little substantive difference between the two. I mean, capital G God would be a reality bender as far as the Foundation is concerned. So one important note, SCP-343 may claim to be the creator of the universe, but it really doesn't seem to claim any sort of religious leaning. So if it is God, it's not the Abrahamic one or any other ones. It's just, as it claims, the creator of the universe. If you believe it. Because here's the rub, SCP-343 is not really as kind or as benevolent as it appears. And you might say, what do you mean? Well, there's a certain doctor who seems to be immune to the object's charm. Now, there's Dr. Beck, who is the guy that basically sets up the entirety of the containment and runs most of the experiments, and he lets it have free reign throughout the site. But this other doctor, who's unnamed, thinks that it's possible the object is just using its abilities to manipulate people, and specifically Dr. Beck, into liking it. But this mysterious other doctor doesn't exist anymore. There's some files at the very end of the article that are corrupted and incomplete, and they seem to indicate that somehow this doctor was trying to tighten up containment on SCP-343, and as far as we can tell, it seems like SCP-343 disappeared this person. And I feel like most people seem to completely miss this point. I mean, when I first explained that last part to somebody else who had read it, they had completely missed the point because they had just skimmed over it and were like, well, there's nothing here. I think a lot of the characterization of SCP-343, both on and off the wiki, fails to recognize that very, very sinister element. Now, the quality of the article itself is up for debate, and trust me, there's a lot of debate on it, but SCP-343 is not a kind old man. And it's not God either, it's something darker and powerful enough to be confused with God. And if you don't let it have its way, well, you'll never have been born. Anyway, that's it. Like I said, it's not a very complex or very long SCP, so that means that this explanation isn't going to be very long either. But consider that request fulfilled. Thanks for watching.